Yep. Got another one of these bad boys. Uh, only real difference to this one, of course, is the fact that I should probably widen that shot so you can see all my giant stack of cards over there. Just kidding. I'm gonna open this knife. Hopefully I don't cut my face. Uh, you guys have seen, of course, this product already once before. I said I'm just being a little more cautious because don't want to cut my face off. There we go. Come on. It's almost there. Just my microphone. No worries. Ooh, it's purple. I did not see the purple color coming, but this is what I've been waiting for. Ever since Yugi got his, Kaiba needed to have his. Oh, yes. Kaiba collector's box coming at you. We got a case again. So that means I got 12. So I think we might even do six tonight. So video number two on our on our two video Wednesday. Apparently that's what I just keep doing. So it's a lot of fun. Well, I'm gonna open most of these uh, before I do the videos, so you don't have to sit and watch me. I'll open one on, of course. Man, I'm excited to get into these. Come on, Chaos Dragon. All right, guys, seen a bit. What's up, YouTube? We're back. Video number two. I kind of showed you in the intro what we got, and I took it all out for us are five beautiful blue eyes white dragons but I do always like to open at least one on film we, just to crack open the starter deck and stuff I mean this is pretty sweet it's literally the same thing as Yugi's collection that we did a few months ago um, obviously just with blue eyes um, so just get geared up you guys because there's a lot of stuff like a lot of starter decks and stuff from the last time and obviously I'm gonna have 12 new starter decks for Kaiba I'm not using any of it, so I'm gonna have to be giving away 24 starter decks here coming up. So Black Friday, um, we're gonna get really geared up in December and um, and kind of at the end of November and just start giving things away like crazy. So you get a Blue Eyes White Dragon, of course, ultra rare. Probably one of the prettiest cards. Eh, it's gonna fall, that's okay. He'll sit right there for now. He can go in the middle of the board. You always get your oversized blue eyes. The only thing that, that Konami could really take a lesson from, from Pokemon on this one, is foil in it. I mean, you should foil it, and you should also, um, you, you foil it, obviously, because there's no texture unless you're doing like an ultimate rare where it's kind of embossed, so. <sighs> but we are opening six, six of these tonight, uh, just kind of for that, you know, because we want to, and freaking love this set. I love these Duelist Packs, probably my all-time favorites. Uh, we really want to open them, and I really want to open six, because that makes basically makes a booster box, uh, 18 and 18 of each. And these used to come in packs of 36, uh, unless the, except for the Yugi one, that was weird, that was a box of 30, I think. But regardless, it's very cool. I know you guys have probably all, all seen this many times, it's our Kaiba, Kaiba, uh, starter deck but it's reloaded so it definitely still gives you that nostalgic feel I am I know I said this with Yugi's too but I am very happy that they made this guy right here an ultimate rare um, they just need to bring ultimate rares back in general I think granted I'm sure it costs more to produce and boss stuff like that but they're just so awesome that's one of the prettiest blue eyes you might ever get to see. Tablet edition, and of course it is um, an ultimate rare. So ultimate rares get to go right in front. We have the power of seven blue eyes sitting right here. I know you can really only see six, but there's seven. Another blue eyes, obviously you have to run a lot of blue eyes. Legion, Battle Ox, Hot Clips. You got a Luster Dragon, uh, X Head Cannon. Another dragon, obviously you know Kaiba loves his dragons. Blade Knight, Pup Plant, Dark Hole, so you're going to have all your old staples, which is a good feeling, some new ones as well. Got Burst Stream of Destruction, and in the back you get your Trap Holes and stuff like that, so very, very cool. As always, um, I love that they give starter decks in here, because I do think this is a very cool thing, not only for um, players that have played before, 
Um, but new players getting in too, you kind of get some cool packs that might yield you some really cool cards, even though they might not all be usable, but um, it's just a really cool idea that they've done. I'm so glad they brought these back. Oh, now for the main attraction, what I've been so excited for for so long. Getting more of these. Green Gadget. King's Knight. Buster Blader. Alright. Catapult Turtle. And we're starting off with a Dark Magician. Um, for those of you that caught the last time around that we did all of these, uh, we pretty much got everything we needed for Yugi, so we're good there. Another Dark Paladin, though, is of course what I will be hoping for tonight. And then we do need to finish off the set for Kaiba, for Ultimate Rares, because that's what I'd love to do. We need Pot of Greed and uh, or Crush Card Virus. Two great cards, not so easy to get. We already have Chaos Emperor, Dragon, Ring of Destruction, and Cyber Jar. So, uh, hopefully Kaiba, my man, because I bought you a case, Kaiba, we need to get these. It's got Green Gadget again, Jack's Knight. Nice polymerization. Gotta love the anime artwork and a magical hat. So you know, just kind of try and slide that right in the middle. We'll clear off a. We'll clear off some sides here. Yugi's. I was a little. I'm a little disappointed back in the day that they didn't give Yugi more love. Catapult turtle and card of sanctity. It was odd because I mean he is the the main uh, protagonist. But Kaiba being the antagonist, he's got some pretty sweet cards, so I'm all about Kaiba anyway. Spellbinding Circle. Yellow Jacket, a Karibu, and your Black Luster Soldier. Now I think that would have been a pretty sweet card to see Ultimate Rare. Spellbinding Circle. Um, I like the look of it for sure. Queen's Knight, Green Gadget, King's Knight, another Polymerization. Alright, exchange is our rare. So now we got double polymerization. Uh, Yugi is setting us up for Kaiba so we can get Dragon Master Knight and Blue Eyes Ultimate out. So way to go Yugi, way to support the, the big beasts. Got Big Shield Gardena and another Dark Magician. So unfortunately you guys know very small sets. Not a ton of variety but again this is still super cool. Big Shield Gardena, Green Gadget, Yellow Gadget, Jack's Knight. Oh, exchange. For some reason, I I thought that was something really crazy. I was like, Jinzo? But no, Jinzo's not even in here. So I don't know why I was thinking Jinzo. Well, Jinzo's not in here as a hollow. Yellow Gadget. Jack's Knight. Spellbinding Circle. Come on, give us something. Ugh, oh, Red Gadget. And an exchange. <sighs> this happened last time. Yuki likes to toy with us. He likes to hold out until the very end for all those goods. Come on, Yugi boy. Spellbinding Circle. The red gadget, our Buster Blader. All right, Diffusion Wave Motion and another Black Luster Soldier. All right, you boy. Come on. I know you got it in here. You got the goods. Karibu, Black Luster Ritual, Catapult Turtle, the King's Knight, and a Marsh Malone. What we got here? Three, six, seven, eight. So we're into our third. Uh, Technically collector box thingamajigger, light force sword, sh uh, stronghold the moving fortress, and we're getting a queen's knight in another exchange. Um, I mean, we're still averaging one hollow per box of uh, the collection box, which is kind of what you expect because there are only three packs of each. Yellow gadget and a diffuse, diffusion wave motion with another exchange. Okay, so that was kind of like I would say our first miss for him. But, it's alright. One Dark Paladin, and all is forgiven, Yugi boy. Red Gadget. Big Shield Gardener. Brain Control. And a Karibu with an exchange. Ugh. Where are these poles? Last time we killed it. Dark Magician Girls. We were... I mean, we got everything last time we opened these. King's Knight. Spellbinding Circle. Swords are Revealing the Light. A Yellow Gadget and a Marsh Malone. Oh my goodness. Yugi boy, you only got four packs. I'm gonna need at least two. Two. Two hollows. Come on. Diffusion. Queen's Knight. Green Gadget. And a King's Knight. And a Dark Magician. Oh. This is looking rough. Spellbinding Circle. Big Shield Gardener. Yellow, G Yellow Gadget. And a Karibo. Oh my god. Marsh Malone. It's like Marsh Malone and. An exchange is like all we see right now. 
Yellow Gadget, Karibu, King's Knight, Carter, oh my god. Out of 18 packs, to only get two is kind of a letdown. Yugi, buddy, you kind of need to save us here. Otherwise, King's Knight, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Summon Skull, okay, I can take it, Black Luster. It wasn't a total bust, but I think Kaibo is probably going to win. But that's okay, because I love Kaibo's better anyway. But, uh, hopefully Yugi can come through. We do have another 18 of these things to open, so that's okay. So, kind of put that in perspective here. Yugi got his two polymerizations and a Summon Skull. Now, granted, that all art excuse me, on the Summon Skull is probably some of the best artwork Summon Skull has ever gotten, so... It's cool. Definitely, definitely a fan fave, or at least one of mine. Here we go. Real set. Ring of Defense. Maybe. Yeah. It's the Ring of Defense. Interdimensional Transmit. Okay. Why Dragon Head and a Vampire Lord. It's alright. Kaiba only needs to get four. Four and ultimate, and then pretty much you kind of can't beat ultimate rares, unfortunately, Yugi. Familiar Knight. Colonian. Z Metal Tank. And you have the Flute of Summoning Dragon and a Cost Down. I mean, those pull rates were really good in that Yugi one, so I would be a little bummed if they kind of, you know, like, took them down in these new ones. Enraged Battle Ox, Judge Man, uh, Magic Reflector, mm, Z Metal Tank, and a Kaiser Seahorse. Alright. So you're not going to get it in everyone. Nothing's, nothing's going to be perfect. But come on. Soggy the Dark Clown. That's got a signal crush card virus, right? Ring of Defense. Familiar Knight. Ah, he's so my giant and a vampire lord. Because we all know, if you watch the original anime, Saga Dark Clown, he is a sick guy. He carries that virus around with him. <sighs> Come on, Kaiba. You got me a sword stalker, a polymerization, another giant, and... Okay, got the White Stone of Legend, so we're starting off with a super rare. And a rare horse raider. I mean, it's a good deck. It's a good card to play in your Blue Eyes deck, there's no question about that. Not the ultimate rare we were looking for, so come on. Z Metal Tank, Cloning, Judge Man, alright, Lord of D, and Pitting the Dark Clown. Is it because, or is it because Blue Eyes is, is stumbling? There we go, Blue Eyes. Now Blue Eyes is standing tall, watching over us, giving us the power. Lejin. Z Metal Tank, X Head Cannon, and okay, Return from the Different Dimension. We have a my my favorite made up number, a gajillion of those things. We were getting those in place at the last time. Okay, Soggy the Dark Clown. It's an ultimate rare, you guys. This is so sweet. Kaiser Seahorse. I I'm gonna be mean, and we're just gonna leave that bad boy for the end. So remember, there is an ultimate rare in this one. They're all really good. I do really hope we get something different. Um, we do have Cyber Jar and Ring of Destruction. Uh, now, if we get Chaos Emperor Dragon again, I will take that. That is never, uh, that's never um, something to complain about. Itsumi Giant and Paladin of the White Dragon. Kaiba's just so good. I mean, always. Like, last time he gave me all his best cards, and this time he gives me all the best cards. It's so great. Polymerization, Z Metal Tank, X Head Cannon, Magic Reflector, and Divorce Raider. We're coming down here to the end though, unfortunately. Don't worry. Looks like I got six more boxes of this stuff, so we'll keep ripping and dipping. Remember you guys, um, with these giveaways I am trying to get to that 400 subscriber mark. Soggy the Dark Clown. Boom! Dragon Master Knight. Now that is nice because it's only the second one I've ever gotten in my entire life. So he goes right there. So hopefully, you know, you guys could spread the word and we get to 400 subs. Really, the only reason I want 400 so bad is so I can crack open that retro pack, too. I want to save that for, you know, kind of a cool milestone. And it has a cost association, so 400 and 400 go well together. Interdimensional uh, Transporter. You got Sword Soccer and Rage Battle Axe, Soggy the Dark Clown, and a different Dimension Dragon. I remember playing that card all the time. Can you guys believe it? Another Dra oh, Dragon Master Knights. Oh, that should be a broken card. Too bad it's near impossible to get out in the real world, anyway. 
Lord of D. I kind of am skipping, I guess. There's Kaiser Glider, Polymerization, and you got White Dragon Ritual. I did not mean to do that, just kind of got stuck. Hitsumi Giant, the Flute of Summoning Dragon, Asagi the Dark Clown, another White Dragon Murder Control, and another Different Dimension Dragon. Four more Kaiba packs. Kaiba did win, by the way, if you were wondering. He won by about a mile and a half, two miles, I don't know. Yugi just came up weak. Ancient Lamb, Ring of Defense. Another Ultimate Rare, so that's <laughs> fine by me. Wait, this is the Ultimate Rare. Yeah, Inch. You guys, this is so fun. I love this. Love these packs. Just go buy them when they come out on Friday. I mean, they're so expensive otherwise, unless you get them the reprint version like this. I mean, a special edition of this is 35 bucks for six. You can get six for 20 and you can still get the starter deck and everything. A little voice raider action. And trust me, I've looked at first edition boxes of Kaiba. It's 450 bucks. And when the most expensive carbon is about 50, it's rough. Judgment, interdimensional transporter. Oh, oh, blue eyes, ultimate white dragon. All the power cards are coming in. Woo! Vampire Lord. All right, last pack. What do we get? You guys, this is pretty insane. Kaiba, the blue eyes, the power of blue eyes is second to none. Hitsumi Giant. The Food of Summoning Dragon. Another one? Oh, XYZ Dragon Cannon. We did not get that in the last one, if I remember correctly. Just take a moment to appreciate these three cards right here. Very, very good. First Ultimate Rare. You guys got to tell me what it is? Uh, another Cyber Jar. That's okay. Beautiful card. And our other one? Please be something we don't have. Like a Crush Card Virus? <laughs> Double Cyber Jar! I get a play set of cyber drives that I can't use. That's fun. <laughs> That's cool though. Still double cyber jar, you guys. I mean, we know Yugi lost. He's got another chance, but <sighs> that—that's crazy right there, you guys. Kaiba kind of just blows it away every time. I'll recap. Oh, this set so beautiful. So beautiful. So, super rare. Oh, come on. All right, I guess I want to focus right away. So we'll just start with our Yugi. Pretty easy. Two polymerization and a summon skull. Not our best Yugi opening, but we got more chances. So, XYZ Dragon Cannon. Return from the different dimension. White Stone of Legend. Here we go. Blue Eyes Ultimate. Beautiful card. Dragon Master Knight. Favorite card. Okay, there's one. Oh, two. Two Cyber Jars. I mean, two alternate rare cyber drives, you guys. If for those of you who don't remember or don't didn't get to play with this card, it is super OP. Like, there's a reason it's never going to come back. Flip. Destroy all monsters on the field. Then both players reveal the top five cards from their decks. Then special summon all revealed level four or lower monsters in face-up attack position or face-down defense position. Also, add any remaining cards to their hand. If either player has less than five cards in their deck, uh, reveal as many as possible. You can't play that now. Because there's too many 3 and 4 star monsters that just get your deck running fast. Oh, that's great. We have 3 of those now. So, I don't even care that we didn't get anything. That was so fun. You guys are the best. Super long video again. Made 2 of them in a day. Who cares? We'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to open tomorrow. Mm, something, hopefully. You guys are great. We'll talk to you later. Have a great night.